As you know, last time we had understood the SPSS demonstration, where we have showed you how to go for all the various types of tests. Today, let's go and think and introducing learning variables. So we all know what is learning variables. Meaning of learning variables is statistics, econometrics, and particularly regression analysis. Yeah, 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 yeah. A dummy variable is one that takes the value 0, 1, 2, etc. to indicate the absence or presence of some categorical effect that will be expected to shift the outcome. This is what is dummy variable. You will understand what it means, what is the definition in the sense. So, regression equation is a dummy variable. So, here I have taken the example of weight is equal to beta 1 plus beta 1 plus beta 1 plus beta 1. So this gender is categorical variable and this is qualitative in nature, male and female. So this we need to convert it into quantitative variable. So how I convert it into quantitative variable? I have reframed the equation as v is equal to beta 1 plus beta 1 into d1 plus u. So here d is our dummy variable where the gender categorical variable is replaced by quantitative variable which is named as dummy variable. So here D is representing the categorical variable that is gender. Now see here, D1 is equal to 1 if if it is male. D1 is equal to 0 if female. This is how I am describing my dummy variable. 1 is for male and 0 is for female. So the original variable is gender, which is qualitative nature, which is not transformed into quantitative variable, that is as D, dummy variable. So there are different cases of dummy variable. I'll take the first case, there is only one qualitative variable as explanatory variable. So uh, I like the one, only one variable is there, dependent variable, independent variable, independent variable, only one is there, and that is our explanatory variable, which is the variable. So the same thing I have taken over here. Now how to interpret beta 1 and beta 1 in this case? Normally we have seen the interpretation but when it comes to dummy variable, the interpretation slightly it changes. So here if you see expectation of wage given for male, that is d1 is equal to 1, then it is equal to beta 1 plus beta 1. And this is the mean wage for male. Now what will be the mean wage for female? Expectation of wage given d1 is equal to 0, that is for female. So it is equal to only beta 1. So the difference here, beta 1 plus beta 1 is for male and only beta 1 is for female. This type of equation we call it as Anomal model. Only one qualitative variable is there as depend, independent variable. It is called as anomal model. Analysis of variance model. Then we move on to the second part, and that is there are both qualitative and quantitative variables. So now I'm going to change my equation where I'm going to introduce one more variable, but that is not going to be a dummy variable. That is going to be a numerical variable. So here I have changed it. Wage is equal to beta 1 plus beta 1 into gender plus beta 2 into education plus u plus the error. Now the things will change because we are having two parts over here. So I will write it as wage is equal to beta 1 plus beta 1 d1, di, that is for the new variable, and xi is for education. Now how the interpretation will happen? Interpretation of beta 1, beta 1 and beta 2, what it will be? Expectation of wage for males will be beta 1 plus beta 1 plus beta 2 x1 that is for male and for female it will be expectation of wage di is equal to 0 is beta 1 plus beta 2 x1. Now why is this happening? Why is it is beta 1 plus beta 1 plus beta 2? The simple thing is if your di is 1, replace di with 1, what will happen? Beta 1 plus beta 1 into 1 will be beta 1. So beta 1 plus beta 1 and as it is beta 2 plus x1. But if your dummy variable is female, then this di will become 0. If it becomes 0, what will happen? Beta 1 
plus beta 1 into 0 is 0. So, no limit to infinity. So, beta 1 plus beta 2 x. So, this is the specialty of the main meaning. So, here we are getting different values for male and female. And if the model is like this, we call it as an ANOVA model. That was ANOVA. This is analysis of covariance. Why covariance? Because here there are two variables. Gender, which is a dummy variable, and there is education, which is our quantitative variable. So these are the two parts. Now just I'll try to explain it in the form of a diagram so that we we'll get pictorially uh, how this male and female things are working. So on x axis there is education and on y axis there is wages. So this particular pin line is telling us about the equation of female. Expected wages of female is this. And this particular blue line is telling us about expected wages of male. Now if you look at the diagram, look at beta naught. The beta naught, what it is? The beta naught is the intercept for females and beta 1 plus beta 1 is the intercept for males. Now what is the difference between male and female? If you want to see the difference between male and female, I would say beta 1 plus beta 1 plus beta 2 xi minus beta 1 plus beta 2 xi. If you solve these things, you will get something called as differential intercept. So that is the intercept for males and this is the intercept for females. So what is the difference between the mean wage of male and female? The mean wage for male and female, if you solve this thing, what remains is if you see, this is beta naught plus beta 1. This is beta naught. So, beta naught plus beta 1 minus beta naught. This is the factor which is telling that how much the wages of males is different from females. So, if you see, if I say this is 10 and if I say this is 15, 15 minus 10 that is beta 1. That is the expected change and this particular concept we call it in econometrics as differential intercept. Moving ahead, I will keep the diagram as it is over there. What about beta 2? Beta 2 is the slope. We call it as the slope. Okay, change in one year of education, how much will be the change in the wage level? Now, an interesting thing to observe over here is that if you see the slope of male and female, it is same. In the above case, slope is same, no matter whatever for male or for female, because they are having the same slope. Uh, it means the incremental change in wage because of one year of extra education has same impact on both male and female. But in reality is it so? In reality that is not the case. One additional year of education of boys or males will have a different impact on wages whereas compared to males. Without being biased it can be more or less depending where you are. So normally the trend is male if they go on for one more year of education their additional wage will be little more than females. If that is the case then what is happening over there? What if mean wage responds differently with respect to education of your children? If I am getting 1000 more and if a female is getting 750 more, there is some change. So what is that change? This if you want to understand, we will have to enter into a third model and that is the interaction between the dummy variable and the covariant. And I am not going to go into details of that because for that another I need 15 20 minutes. And here comes our the third beta value, beta 3 into dummy variable 1 multiplied by 
the commutative variable x hat, where if you say d1 is mean, then it will be beta 2 x hat, which will be again added in the above. <coughs> if it is female, then there is not going to be anything. So that is the additional case, and because of which the slopes of male and female will be where male will be having more slanted wages, where an additional increment in education will bring more wages to that family. So this is all about dummy variables. So when we understood what is qualitative variable, quantitative variable, the interaction, the slopes and the intercept and whether the slopes are same, if they are not the same, what will happen. So with this I am not sure.